Welcome back. Well, you hear an awful lot of doom and gloomers talk about the housing market, and we're going to hell fast. So how come my next guest is actually buying homes like they're going out of style? Well, he's Tom Atkins. He's with Remax. Also with us is Peter Schiff, who says that Tom is nuts. <laughs> Peter's author of Crash Proof, How to Profit from the Coming Economic Collapse on that rosy subject. I, I guess I'm going to go to you, Peter, the negative guy first. So you're convinced it's not over. It's just beginning. Look, real estate prices that we have today are a function of three things. They're a function of the temporarily low adjustable rate mortgage payments, extremely lax or non-existent lending standards, and speculative buying. Those are the props that have allowed real estate prices to get to these crazy levels. Those props are now being removed, right? Uh, lenders are starting to reimpose standards. So it's going to get much worse. Rate. Yeah. I mean, when you remove the worse? props, I think in the, in the bubble mm -hmm. markets like California, you know, where we are now here in the, in the Northeast, Florida, you know, you're going to look at 50% or more declines in housing prices. What do you make of that? Does anybody know how much, anybody know how much the average sale price has gone down in the past 12 months? I bet you do. $600. That's it. 600 bucks? Where's the big crisis? Look, if a stockbroker came to you, Neil, You're talking to average. You're well, not talking to hot markets yeah, like in well, Florida or well, California. No, no. Look, some areas is going up, some areas is going down, but that's the way it always is. But look, let, let's go back to, to just one really interesting, plain, simple concept. If a stockbroker came to you and said, Neil, my philosophy is to buy high and sell low, would you go with that guy? I have that career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, what you do is real estate, when things start slowing down, that's when you buy. Now, here we have things that slow down, and I believe artificially. There's one big reason. This is a completely media generated event. Oh. We have net incomes have gone up 10%. For three straight years, last year it dropped to six percent. But you you get you get a thirty six percent increase. So you're in bullish on housing. Look, you're buying all, housing. Look, look, the media convince you that Washington's are lending in New Jersey. They can yeah. convince you that look, the real estate market is in trouble. It, anyone who thinks that if you buy a house now, you're buying low. I mean, it's ridiculous. Housing prices have never been this high relative to incomes, relative to other measures of valuation, relative to rents. They are in the stratosphere. If you can find somebody who's willing to buy, do it. I would suggest that anybody who's trying to sell their house, you know, give Tom a call if you can't find a buyer right here, baby. because Call there's not that many people why do you <laughs> have a situation one area is he's right on when you see these declines in sales you don't see anything close to the comparable decline in price because it's, it's a fiction first of all a lot of the new homes right what's <coughs> happening is they're throwing in all sorts of incentives they're throwing in fifty a hundred thousand dollars worth of freebies that's not in the price plus what's happening is a lot of houses aren't selling and some of the houses that are selling, some of the higher end prices, if you sell a few more multi-million dollar homes, but even for 20 or 30 percent less than they were a year ago, that skews the averages. If fewer lower priced homes are selling, the average selling price can look like it's not dropping. And if you look at the supply, well, they do houses. break it down but by the, market, and it and it isn't and, as dire as you're and, saying. And but let's what, do what that you for think? a second. Real estate prices in Texas last year, for instance, where I do a lot of my investing, up seven percent last year. And if you buy a house, but five percent down, and it goes up five percent in price, you just doubled your money. So what are now, you buying? And, and by the what way, in buying? Manhattan, what are you buying? What are you buying? What are you buying? I'm buying land, and I'm developing it. Where? Now, where? Texas right now. Why Texas? Because Texas is one of those markets where you have a number of things happening. First of all, net income growth is going very well. A very good business climate. People are moving to Texas to, to support these businesses. And you have great... Uh, but you wouldn't do it on the Florida coast, coast, would you? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't do it on the California no, coast, would you? you look, uh, so maybe, it, Mr. Schmitty Pence, maybe he's well, look, right. There are I mean, stocks not to buy right now, <laughs> look, and then okay. the market's Neil, going Neil, up 20% in the past year. You're yeah. yelling at me. Neil, I moved to Connecticut a couple of years ago. When I first moved there... <laughs> I could barely find a for sale sign. Now they're everywhere. So what? You know, people haven't been able to sell their houses. Their houses have been on the market two or three years. But we've been I've waiting seen... for what? The better part of two years for a complete collapse, right? Hasn't well, happened. you're not going to have to wait too much longer. You know, look, it, you know, people had no, to wait a, a while before. A broken clock, the... you might be right, but we've been waiting for this happen. big collapse. It's hasn't happened. Happen. Look, it's just starting. Interest rates on these adjustable rate mortgages, people have taken so out You wouldn't mortgages. touch real estate. You're touching it with yeah, well, interest rates are like, you can get for less than 6%, you can get a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. What's the matter with that? It's a right. historic low. But it's people have adjustable rate mortgages excited, that are much Neil, lower. Guys. They're going to reset it twice what they, what they can afford. All right. Well, why don't you bring it outside and fight? Now. Let's see what happens. All right. When we come back, Conoco Phillips playing hardball with you.